Okay, today's garage cooking challenge is a venison lentil chili, and it's going to turn out really good. Um, I will use a few slices of bacon, primarily because um, I do my own butchering of my, of my venison, and when I grind the burger, I don't put any fat in it. So this is just ground meat without fat. Most people have pork, so I used to, but I don't anymore. It's better for you, and the bacon will give us all the, the uh, grease, grease and flavor that we need. A can of tomato sauce, a can of sliced stewed tomatoes, a drained can of kidney beans, a tablespoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, lentils, half a cup. You can tell Rhonda scooped this for me. Um, a can of hatch green chilies, of course. And then this is a half a can of Rotel. And so what I'll do is cook the bacon, brown the meat, cut this onion up, get it in there. I use the whole onion. It goes great in chili. And then I'll add the ingredients, maybe a little bit of water, and just let that cook. And then uh, I'm going to make a salad. Yes, you heard it here. I'm going to make salad. Um, it's a man salad, and which means there's no pointy leaves in it, only round leaves. Spinach is about as far as we go on a man salad. But uh, I will use iceberg lettuce, pomegranate, I'll show you how I cut it, apple, avocado, and celery. Come back to that later. Okay, I cut up the bacon in little pieces. I've got it started in the pan. I'm going to cut the onion up. The pieces can be kind of big on the onion because it's going to cook a long time. They're too small, they'll just disappear. So, we got the onions about done here. Put them all in. So that's uh, browning up nice. I'll add the uh, ground venison. This is how I wrap my venison. I put it in little plastic bags. It's a lot easier than vacuum sealing it. And if you squeeze all the air out and then wrap it in paper, I found it keeps just as well. Doesn't cost anything. But we usually eat our deer in a year. We don't hold it over for many years. Come along. Okay, so I'm gonna add the spices now. Garlic powder. Salt. Chili powder. Then I'll start adding the liquid. Tomato sauce. And about a half a can of water. Add to the tomato sauce. Sliced stewed tomatoes. Light red kidney beans. Can of hatch green chilies. Half can of rotel. Now, I will mix that up. Okay. 
Let's see what it's looking like here. And then we're just going to let this simmer for a long time. Oops, I forgot the lentils. That probably was subconsciously intentional. Because why would you want to grate chili without putting lentils in? But, Rhonda says lentils in, so lentils in. Okay, getting the lettuce ready. I've cut the apple up and the celery. And the right size for a salad is a teacup. Teacup's funny. And if you're smart, you leave a little bit of each one out. I haven't done the pomegranate yet, but you can then you can say, Oh yeah, the salad looks so good. Oh, I couldn't help myself. I ate mine in the garage. So I'm, I'm done. Okay, the best way to do a pomegranate is to cut around the top, not very deep, so you're not breaking a bunch of the seeds and making them all juicy. And then you can see these uh, ribs that run down. Slice down the ribs, and then you can you can pull the sections off like this, and that's how you can get to the insides without making a huge mess. But pomegranates had a lot. There's an old, ancient, non canonical text which indicates that the fruit that Adam and Eve had in the garden was something like this. I'm sure the real one was lost in the flood, along no doubt with the one plant that tastes like a donut that we sinners don't get to enjoy anymore. So here we are. I'm going to add a little more water to the chili. The lentils absorbed a bunch. And it's looking pretty good. Acceptable man salad and some great chili, venison chili with lentils. Yum. <laughs>